Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a quick and easy way of detecting burn using color burn. Burn happens when any of red, green or blue or a pair of them or all of them gets to the maximum value on an 8-bit system that means 255. And so you might be getting some burn, for example, in these clouds. You might be getting some burn down here somewhere and so on. But all you do is take the existing layer Hit Ctrl J to duplicate it, or if it is a complex thing with, with a virtual layer effectively, just go along to Layer and Merge Visible, and it'll create a virtual layer above, which combines everything into it. That's, that's what you're seeing. Ctrl I to invert that, so you've now got an inverted form of it. And then, very, very simply, go along to Color Burn. What we see there now is bits down here. And these, as you get in closer, you see other bits. So let's go into this bit here. So we go into the yellow. What's the, the yellow showing us? Well, if I turn that off and drag the pipette into here, what I see is red and green are 255 and blue is 253. Now the red and green are at their maximum, they're burnt out. And red and green together make yellow. So you can see from the colour. What it is. So where you've got something like a blue there, that's because the blue is maxed out, that's green maxed out, and, and so on. And when you've got the combinations, then you'll see how they are. So control zero to go back out again and turn that off, and you can then do even just delete that layer. So there you go really quickly, just a duplicate layer, color burn blend mode, and look for non-black squares, and they'll tell you then what colours have maxed, are maxed out. And you might then be able to turn down the colour and so on. That's it. Very, very simple. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching.